And that's that's how you find that which is by sitting and in the stillness and then you, you have to it. slow down because that which is is it always is it never every moment then it it's there's only that but the problem is it's like our minds it's like a caught it's it's so distracted by that which is not but seems to be that we've gone missing it so in the, it's like a slowing everything down the same like when we look at a movie it seems like continuous but it's really these frames that are going very very close together. So we need to be able to slow down the frames through deep concentration practice and and uh, calmness, the shamatha practice. And then it then we can see the frames and see in between the frames and we understand that that which is and that which is not. Or that which is the, the foundation, what we call the the background or the backdrop and then the, the things that are changing on the surface because normally our consciousness is completely uh, focused on the objects around us. Right? We don't see the space in which they're occurring. The same when we look at a book, we see the words, but we don't see the space. So instead in meditation, we learn to shift the attention from the objects back to the space. And the space we can say is that which is. If that which is is an unknown though. It's the unknown. It's the stream of the unknown. So we can't put, we can't uh, limit it with some kind of statement. So it's kind of the flow of the present moment and we can't really define it because it's always changing. It's infinite dimensions uh, and, and, and within one another. Same like our body has infinite dimensions. There's the surface of our skin and all the different parts of it, but even that is composed of cells. The cells are composed of parts and there's bones and glands and blood and nerves and and then molecules and then even space between that. So mm -hmm. in the same way that even this body is an unexplainable, infathomable universe within universes, then the, the present moment is the seed of mm. all universes which is continually giving birth to itself in infinite dimensions mm. but it's not a personal thing as soon as we try to make it personal then it, we get stuck mm. so so it's it's the, the totality of everything just occurring the process and yeah. as it's flowing they can call sometimes the Tao or like this mm. like but, the Tao Te Ching when we read this the Tao can't be spoken mm. the real Tao like this ah okay but but uh, can we we can we really know all of that? Because we can't really know all the molecules, all the atoms. No, we can't know it. We can only be it. That's why it's a being. It's not a knowing. It's not an activity of knowing. We need to relax into it, expand into it. The I, the ego, is a contraction. Every thought is a contraction of mind energy also. Mm. So instead of contracting, we need this expansion. And then we are that. We are the present moment. We are the breath. We are this 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 so no we can't know it we cannot know it it's impossible to know we have to give up on knowing it immediately and we have to be it want more click here for the full interview click here for more awesome clips or here for the full episode and don't forget to like comment and subscribe hi i'm kevin and this is giovanna we're traveling around the world talking to spiritual masters about meditation and awakening Join us on our adventures. All you have to do is click subscribe.